Hi, I'm Marilyn Smith. And welcome to my 103-year-old house. Let's go crash my kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to my teeny tiny kitchen. We're gonna go look at one of my uh, TV cupboards. <laughs> Ta da! So it doesn't look like much, but I do City Line breakfast television. I have my own web series called My Left Frying Pan. And uh, when I'm prepping things, I have like a workstation, and this is where I put all my stuff to take to the show. I love these. I love the color green, and um, these are perfect for like salt or for spices, and they're made out of bamboo, which is kind of cool. All right, and then over here is my very favorite thing in my whole kitchen. I don't have any bad energy in my kitchen. So sometimes I'll just go, the best button ever. I collect wooden spoons, as you can see. There's some that have been uh, on fire, but if you just bang it, like it goes out. This is one of my favorite ones because uh, when I open a pomegranate, I cut it in half, I kind of crack it open, and then I get a wooden spoon and I go, spank the pomegranate, <laughs> spank the pomegranate. You guys getting the fact that I really like green because there's a lot of green in here. This is my Spice and, I don't know, it's my stuff covered. But what's really good about it is that it's shallow, and so I can get to things. And slightly anal, because all the glass measuring cups. Glass for wet, those are for dry. People, you must use the right equipment. Let's go over to my knife drawer. This is one of my favorites. The handle got melted because one of my nephews was over here, and he melted my handle. But I still love him, and I love the knife, and it doesn't really bugger it up anyway. But whenever I go to City Line or BT, I don't want to stab anybody, so it's a knife travel case. I don't know, have you guys ever seen that before? Isn't that neat? This is my fun drawer. This is one of my favorite things. It's called a nutmeg grater, uh, but it was my grandma's. And I'm kind of a bit of a snob when it comes to nutmeg because if it's fresh, it tastes better. And so you just grate it on there. It's really cool. You could do cinnamon too. Box grater, apple core, pizza cutter. I freaking love these. And we're gonna go look at my pantry. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my teacup. All right, here comes my type A pantry. All right, so. I don't know whether you can tell, but I used to be a home ec teacher, and I like labels. And so when I designed the kitchen, I like this this whole pull-out shelf kind of idea. And I also like the fact that I got a gun that, <laughs> like one of those, what do they call those things? A uh, uh, label maker. I got a label maker. It changed my life. Uh, do you have a package of silken tofu in your cupboard? I do because I make a chocolate mousse out of it. I just don't tell anybody there's silken tofu in it and it's really good. And then down here are all my oils and my vinegars. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna let you look in my fridge. Ah! Anyway, it's actually not horrible. Here's one of my secret ingredients. La bomba sauce. Okay, la 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 bomba. It's an antipasto spread and I put it in pasta dishes or anything Italian and everyone goes, oh my God, that's so good. And I go, yeah, anyway, okay, so. Uh, another thing, oh, I am the self-proclaimed queen of fiber, and I think that we all, well, we all should have one to two tablespoons of ground flax every single day. And uh, I use milled in my baking, ground in, the, in my cereal. I put it on my cereal or, or yogurt every morning. And I love pure maple syrup because pancake syrup is wrong. You just shouldn't use it. Energy balls, because I like balls. You like my balls? And uh, if you're ever in a rush, we grab, grab a couple of my balls and out you go. Wasabi sauce. Put that in a little bit of mayo and you got something happening. Um, tamari, I'm a big fan of tamari because there's no wheat in it. And not that I'm gluten free, but if any, I have neighbors or friends come over, a lot of soy sauce has wheat in it. I put this in everything too. It's a sweet mango chutney. It tastes really good in sandwiches, like a cheese sandwich or a grilled sandwich or even in eggs. It's really, it's a fun ingredient. Mm. And the last thing I want to talk about is my paper towel holder that was my grandma's because I love the fact that the people that have been influential in my food world uh, are in my kitchen. And this is my uh, kind of an homage to my grandma. And I don't even put paper towels in it because it doesn't actually work. I love that you came into my kitchen with me this morning. Uh, thanks for the visit and uh, catch me on My Left Frying Pan City Line Breakfast TV. I'm going to make myself breakfast. See y'all later. <laughs>